feel feeling uh, in the room? <laughs> I feel good. Um, you know, it's always good to uh, come out here and show up with a champion that you're also a champion. Uh, so know that I did that. I know he's gonna go back in the lab and start to conquer. The last time I beat him, he came out like a menace the next year. And then the next year he broke the world record. So I now have to go back in my lab as well and fix up some stuff. Did you expect to do so well in the World Championship? Uh, yes, yes. Um, went into the World Championship with a goal. Um, had a game plan, focus on that. And we did what we, we went to do. The ultimate mission was to get the goal, but we got a medal or false medal. So I take that. This has been a big year for you with the silver and your Diamond League win here. I mean, have you done anything different pre from previous years? Like, why do you think uh, you've, you've been so good this year? Praise be to God. Praise be to God. That's what I did different. Yeah. I'm curious, I mean, 47.27, you ran 47.26 earlier in the year, right? Like, the consistency is off the charts, right? How have you kind of been remaining grounded mentally to be able to have that consistency? Uh, Stay with God. That's the first one. Uh, converse with my coaches. Stay close to them. We talk over the worst fans, talk over what we need to do. And then three, I have my circle, family and friends. Keep me well grounded. Uh, make sure we stay within the realm of reality and not venture out too much. How do you feel about this specific race kind of technically compared to whether it's Worlds or, you know, 47 to 6 that you did? Uh, overall, I was good. I'm happy that I could have come back after Worlds and deliver such a superb um, competition, especially with what I put the body through mentally and physically from Worlds, which was like probably five days ago. So the fact that I could come out here, recuperate and go again, I'm happy with that result. Yeah, and Zurich looks uh, special to you. Um, you've beaten Carsten here before, um, even though he's also, you've also lost to him. Uh, well, talk us through the track. Is there something special about the track? Oh uh, man, I think, I think, honestly, if we have to be real with each other, I think it's an internal beef between all of us. Like, I, I kid you not, like, even though we dabs each other, yeah. though we, we wish each other love, in the back of our heads, we're like, bro, I want to catch you today. And we know once we're physically ready, it's a dog fight on any given day between our four of us, five of us, six of us. Um, so I think it's just the internal beef that is what was not has to be said, but is understood. You understand? And, and it's taken you five years to do it. Talk us through the journey to come back and be the best again. Um, well, for the last few years, I'm, mentally I wasn't there going through some stuff on and off the track, but this year, um, I surrounded myself with a group of individuals that just wanted the best for me and I wanted the best for them. Um, found, got closer with family, got closer with God, and I set out a plan and I stuck to it. Um, I stopped going out, I stopped late night partying. I just focused 110% on track and field. Like, track and field is my bread and butter. I dug deep into track and field till I was studying them. And then my coach actually said, yo, you gotta stop studying your competitors. Study yourself. Go down and race, go down and run. Um, that was probably one of my biggest downfalls. I could tell you where Benjamin faults is, Dos Santos faults is, Wahon faults is, but I couldn't tell you my fault. And that was the biggest issue. I was focusing on them more than focusing on me. And I know the season, I mean, the 